Hey, this is John Tassinelli, back with another Minnesota geological example. This time, it's an example of some karst features, sinkholes, and disappearing streams. Here is a satellite view of an area a couple miles east of 63, south of Spring Valley. Most of this area is farmland, but there is one square of forest left. This is Cherry Grove Blind Valley Scientific and Nature Area. The trees obscure some of the features, so let's look at the LIDAR data. Now you can see several streams that enter the area but don't leave. In the southwest there's a stream called Jesse's Kill and that leads to a blind valley where the water disappears. There are also some clear pits and sinkholes. Now here is one of the disappearing streams flowing in from the north right here. A little river, a little stream running right down. Down. Here's another location where there's a sinkhole. It's just a depression and covered in soil, but also formed due to dissolution of limestone by groundwater. Here's another location, right up here, where water sinks into the ground. This sinkhole actually leads to a cave known as Goliath Cave. According to the DNR, the cave's natural entry is gated at the base of a well-like depression walled by bands of limestone and shale. From this point, the multi-level, multi-branched cave extends eastward, in this direction, far beyond the SNA boundaries. U of M researcher Calvin Alexander has extensively studied this cave system. Hydrology studies, including dye tests, have revealed that water from the Goliath cave system re-emerges at Big Springs in Forestville State Park. Right over here, where it enters Canfield Creek, which runs right up this way. On its underground journey, the water is cooled to a trout-friendly temperature of 48 degrees. This has been another Minnesota geological example of karst features, including sinkholes, disappearing streams, blind valleys, and caves.